What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with a triple threat reaction. We got a rocket music, we got Dizzy 8, and we're gonna end it off divide music. So, hey, I figured I'm gonna try. Figured I'd come back to these and such because I don't that's one I did. I know I did one this year, but I forgot which one it was. Hopefully, by the time when I look at it on my own time then i'll see but either way good that i'm coming back to some triple threats and such because in a way these triple threats and music mayhems really help me out and such when it comes to everyday music that's been posting out and such so we're gonna go start it off with rocket music's murder drone song so make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video I have seen like little episodes of this and such on YouTube, so let's see how it. Animated by Salty, okay. Big. I'm staring at myself. I'm working like a drone. If you haven't realized, well, throughout the one minute, I've been just jamming out to the song. So with Murder Jones and such, like I said earlier, they're like a little, like a little mini episode, like a mini series on YouTube and such. And I forgot who it was by. But shout out to the person who does Murder Jones and such, because I ain't gonna lie, it's on the level of like hell of a boss, but a little bit more different. Thanks by the name Murder Drones and such, where it's just the is where it's like a civilization of drones and such, and some of them are good, some of them are bad, but at the end of the day, they all like have different ways about them, how they program and such. So yeah. thing with rocket music they know how to like it's so crazy that with the likes of rocket music jt music and such and and until when fable gets back into the because it's been a little minute since he's dropped like a video game song and such but otherwise from fable jt music and rocket music which is crazy that they're the same music whatnot but it's crazy that they're the ones who can like literally Keep this thing going with the whole video game slash YouTube thing because with the freaking skibidi skibidi toilet thing and then this one and such, it makes it interesting to add like it adding in a new like new little flavor into the nerdcore scene. So hey, it is what it is. It's kind of cool. It changed the darkest of days when we fell from grace. Destruction at my core These graves I can't ignore I'm 
character. I forgot what the main character name is. Y'all let me know. Vocals. I hear the vocals. Shout out to Rocket Music. They know how to really keep it entertaining with the song and such. Like what I'm saying, like what is this? The skibbity toilet shit and such? Crazy that they're making a song out with it and such. Some people wake up and check their phones. Check the weather, check the news, check and their stock. And I'm not checking none of that. But now we on to the next song, which is Dizzy 8 with his Minato rap, I'll Be Here, featuring Gino 5. I gotta say, hold on. I gotta say. Gino has always been on Dizzy 8's channel for a period of last year to now. Because, damn. <laughs> you and most of the times, whenever Dizzy is making a song, nine times out of ten, it's going to be featured Gino. Like, I get, you can say like 70, 70, 75% of the times when, from last year, I can say to now. Gino 5 has been on Dizzy 8 songs every single time. But I guess it's the guy, so... Because let's face it, he always kills it no matter what. So yeah. But let's get it. I'll be here and not alright. They better go with that fucking I'll be here and I'll be here. Of course, this was by Chris G. Life is like a bill, you gotta figure out. Bill, like, bill, like a phone, like phone bill, light bill, and all that. You gotta figure out, figure the number and such. Come on now. See, look, even when he's singing to you, he gonna give you bars and such. Come on. You will. Like an inheritance, you will. Like your will and such, inheritance. Come on. It's like a bill, you gotta figure it out. I'm over no request, or you might wish I took a different route. Equipment in exchange, you gain something when you missing out. That thing that you was forced with manifested a fortune. Mm. Blessing in the skies when I was lying dormant. Tears come easy when every day be stormy. Just remember that your purpose is lying outside your orbit. The mm. second way that I'm paving away for you to build. I'm a third way, but you find it a greater way from here. When changes that get that means you get better days to live. Hope that gave you strength to ensure you never shake it from fear. Da, 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 that flow right there, hold up. A great way from here, we can change your thinking, that means you get better days to live. Hope that gave you strength to ensure you never shake it from fear. Flash forward, I sacrificed my life even though you ain't asked for it. Mm. Cause that's what love is, when nothing's attached to it. And even when I'm gone, just know that I'm here for you, I'll always be here for you. Hey. 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 At the end of the day, Dizzy just knows that the main the main point of the song is to make sure it sticks. If it's that 
to me this is how i feel whenever a song it don't matter what the aesthetic is mainstream nerdcore whatever you want to say right because a lot of times people are gonna put like their stake saying oh you gotta be in the know it all to know it all to know most anime rap songs and such that's not the case and such because to me even if i've never watched certain animes and such that they put out just with the way how the song is and the way how it's put well together because you gotta remember at one point they had the whole seo and such like they were literally telling what happened in a certain episode or how it's going how how a certain character is and whatnot in the third but now with the years going by and they keep on evolving more and more hey just by the context clues of each song that they pull out you can get a sense of what they're talking about and such not only in the anime but also but also how it can put out into the into like a real world experience and such so hey all in all this is just a good a phenomenal song Observatory, you will see how I plan it for you. Planet Observatory, where you see the planets and such. Come on now, Gino. And, and freaking Gino. Gino 5. This nigga comes with bars on bars on bars. Oh on now. And you might misunderstand it, no worries, no you gon' manage Observatory, you will see how I plan it for you Everything granted to you was handed to you for reasons I can't inform you I just implore you to really believe me I can't undo my mistakes, I can't be viewed in this grade No time for weight and confiscation, how I do what it takes My influence too great, my legacy was meant to be for you to reclaim Not to refuse and disdain, I'm a Kotsky, but I'll be in the clouds All my blessings beaming down A Kotsky, but I'll be in the clouds as the Akatsuki with the red clouds and such. Not too refusing to stay I'm a Katsuki, but I'll be in the clouds. All my blessings beaming down, making sure your road to success directs you to see the route. Mm. You may not see it yet, but my methods for teaching just what? Knowing I left that I didn't leave in doubt. Not many moments meant to last, no, no intentions bad. Bad you to do it big, so I chose a different path. We all can't grow old, I gotta make a difference fast. Can't take it slow, cause my life could be gone in a flash. Bro, Gina. It's basically like this with this whole entire song and such. Let me just replay back to it. Basically, this entire song is not only talking about Minato's certain period of time of giving Naruto his inheritance and such, being born with this type of privilege. And I always get the fact where people always say if you're born into a privileged type of thing where it's going to be easy for you. Certain times, yes, but other times, no, because when certain people who are born within the privilege of something you think they know how to instantly do it no because nine times out of ten they're gonna have to be guided by certain people and such who came who has that experience and make sure they know how to use it for good and such so with naruto where he's born into the okage and such with minato even though he was born into it he, I get, guarantee you he probably had a lot of questions and such about why was he this? Why did he have to be... Well, not saying he didn't have any questions, but basically how he was born in... He was granted. He was like basically born into this and wants to know why and such. So yeah, which can just literally translate into today's world, like I just said earlier, with how most people are born into certain families or heritage or whatever or talents or whatever and nine times out of ten they don't know how to freak to use the thing to use their talents or so so sometimes they got a question they say but like how do i get this how was i able to be born into this privileged thing or born with this talent but yet not know how to use it so yeah 
inform you, I just implore you to really believe me. I can't undo my mistakes, I can't be viewed in this grave. No time for weight and confiscation, how I do what it takes. My influence too great, my legacy was meant to be for you to reclaim, not to refuse and disdain. No Akatsuki, but I'll be in the clouds, all my blessings beaming down. Making sure your road to success directs you the scenic route. You may not see it yet, but my method's strategic just what? Knowing I left that I didn't leave in doubt. Not many moments meant to last, no, no intentions bad. Wanted you to do it big, so I chose a different path. We all can't grow old, I gotta make a difference fast. Can't take it slow, cause my life could be gone in a flash. Hey, when I'm on the road, ain't no, got too much I'm fighting for. Ain't letting go, I ain't wrong. I'm doing everything that I can. Guitar though. Yeah. This is playlist for sure. Hey, might be going to my gospel one too, but hey, it is what it is. What up, creative professionals? professionals. I'm here with the Going to the last song. To tune in which is Divide Music's Adam song, Last One Standing. Eat it. Appreciate y'all sticking around to the end. What you got for us, Divide? Hello. Production by you. My deals. Um, Alright, productions by you. Mastered by Fable. Video edited by Dark Raven. Okay. Alright, get it. Echoes from me didn't cry. No one could see the light. This is definitely a different vibe from most of his music where it just starts out with that hard rocking such but this is in a way like tone, tone it down a bit but not too tone where it's not that <clears throat> where you can't just go rock your head and stuff but it's like tone and I kind of like when it's like that. And the thing is, I can watch, I got Netflix and I see that it's on Netflix. Well, it's been on Netflix. So, I'm going to try to watch the entire thing that I can. Hold up, who doing those vocals? Opera vocals by... I don't know who this is and such. Damn it, you should've put the name... Damn it, Divine, you should've put the name of who's doing those vocals and such, cause goddamn. That real opera-like feeling. Oh, 
whoever this this is this is for lady so whoever she is doing these vocals with the and it's on fiverr so somebody had to he must he really went all out with this songs who you who you know is trying to pay somebody to do a chorus for you and they do a shit like that Telling you, if anyhow the next wrestling, all I'm gonna say is this: if it's not gonna be in a wrestling game, then at least in something that I play, some game or so. Cause I'm telling you, if I just got that type of music where nigga, it's on those WWE wrestling games. It needs to be a soundtrack in there. Trust me, if anyhow, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. If anyhow divides music. It's gonna be in one of the wrestling games, and it's only him. I don't care what y'all say. I'm only playing his music. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I play the other wrestling music too, but Vibe's music needs to be there. I can't wait to see that fight scene when I watch it. Ooh, that guitar solo. That guitar solo. I forgot. Guitars. Ole. A drip sky. Sorry if I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but god damn that. Guitar scope. Hold up. Like that must suck a stand. Like that must suck a flea. The last one standing. There it is. Awful. Y'all need to have. Y'all need to start having an opera court, opera vocals in your songs. Let it play y'all giving their watch time. Hopefully y'all giving my watch time too. I'm being selfish. Let's go. Hey, shout out to Divide. Shout out to Dizzy8 and and Gino5. And shout out to Rocket Music and such. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this triple threat reaction and such. Let me know which one of these songs was your favorite and such. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below. Comment down below, opera. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But either way, shout out to Divide, Dizzy8, Gino5, and Rocket Music, like I said, because they came out with something. Each one of these were different in their own unique way, and I love it. But either way, it's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.